While I was using a vacuum ejector during my last project, I thought that an electrical pump with an adjustable flow rate would be very practical in the lab. When I have an idea, I usually have a picture in my mind straight away. This time was no different. Everything was supposed to be housed in the stylish aluminium box. The box is based on a tongue and groove system. First, I roughly laid out the components. The pump is a so-called diaphragm air pump with a flow rate up to 10 liters per minute. The microcontroller that controls the whole thing is an Arduino Nano that sits on a screw shield. A tip if you have to make cutouts. Mark them out either with layout ink in a scribbing needle or with a paper template that you glue on with spray adhesive. Always saw out smaller than the cutout needs to be, then do the rest with a file. It is best to use a fritz saw with a metal blade for cutting. The cutouts you see here are for an LCD and a rotary encoder with push-button function as a human-machine interface. Next, I drilled the mounting holes for the components and mounted the rubber feet. I added another cutout to the second side panel. It is for the USB connection of the microcontroller. Here I am mounting the power MOSFET driver, which is normally intended for the heating bed of 3D printers. I don't know what some engineers are thinking when they design a PCB. I keep noticing that the mounting holes on the PCB are too close to some electronic components. The screw head touches the electronic component, which can end in a disaster if the PCB is mounted on metallic surfaces. It would have been better if I had placed the ventilation opening directly at the end of the motor. However, as the motor only gets moderately warm even after hours of operation, this is not a problem.
after the hardware was done, I wrote a basic code for the pump. The code allows the volume flow to be set via the rotary encoder and the pump to be switched on and off via the push button function. However, the code can easily be extended for more functionality such as a timer or interval operation. Code and wiring diagram are on GitHub, link in the description. A few words about pulse width modulation. The motor speed cannot be reduced to zero via PWM as a motor would require an increasingly higher voltage respectively current to still rotate. If the motor is not turning, its impedance is very low, which leads to a higher current and would eventually overheat the motor. If you need a very low flow rate, I would recommend an additional air regulating valve from the aquarium supply store. Let's upload the code. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay true, stay you.